All right, connected through cooking, and we are in the Good Day Kitchen with Robert and Brian, and we are with Roots and Revelry. That's right. A tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to say, but it's great to eat. So, yes. um, tell us what we're gonna make. We're making uh, a hanger steak uh, today, okay. um, and along with uh, a brandy cream and local mushroom. Uh, okay. sauce and we've got a tomato that's going to be stuffed with goat cheese and herbs mm. uh, and this is items that are on our catering menu okay so um, as of just a, directly adjacent to the restaurant I mean 60 feet away from my kitchen there's a big ballroom and parlor space okay and uh, in the Thomas Jefferson Tower and we're taking over that event space as of February 1st so that's exciting. we're here to get the word out to wedding planners and potential brides uh, that, you know, they if you want to get book, in touch, get in touch because <laughs> we're going to book up very fast. Uh, they're showing some pictures right now of the event space. And so a lot it. of people are familiar with this uh, location. I think it's the most beautiful uh, say, space so. in Birmingham to, to host an event. Uh, so we're really excited about taking that over. And um, we're just trying to showcase some of what we can do on the catering side. We, uh, we cater weddings there fairly frequently, but going forward, we're going to be the uh, the sole vendor there. All right. Um, Tell us the steps. So first thing first, what are you doing here? I'm sauteing some mushrooms with some garlic and shallots. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of brandy to it, and then add a little bit of heavy cream to it and reduce it, reduce it down. And then we're going to serve it with the hanger steak. So we've got some uh, local oyster mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms here. Um, so we've got several local farmers that we use. We use them for pretty much all, anything that we can get locally, we absolutely do get locally. Um, and so, uh, is this from Grandview Farms? Yes. So we've got uh, Charles, a uh, guy I've been working with for years, Grandview Farms, these are his mushrooms. Oh, so wow. shout out to you, Charles. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be this, is, this steak here is, I think it's the beefiest cut of beef in the whole cow. It it's got a really, delicious. yeah, there's, it's also known as a butcher steak. Um, and the reason for that is that butchers would take them home and fe use them to feed to their family. Cause there's only, you only get about four hanger steaks this size out of an entire cow. Okay. So it wasn't something that was marketed um, for, you know, consumers because it just, you know, there's just not enough to sell. Um, so, but it, it is fantastic. It is delicious, it's super tender. And like I said, it's got a really, intense beef flavor about it. And what about this here? Is this going to be sauteed like over the steak? We'll do it after we uh, cook the steak. We'll slice the steak and then we'll serve the mushroom sauce right over the top of it. Okay. How long is all of this going to take, would you say? Usually, oh, this, if somebody wanted to do it at home. This is this is an eight minute, this is an eight minute thing here. Like, I mean, what takes the longest is uh, you want about, I don't know, 12 to 15 minutes on the tomato because you stuff it and then you want to bake it. So we've got the oven over here at 450 and I've put, already put that tomato oh, in Oh, you already have it yeah, in it's already Okay. In there, so <laughs> it's gonna be ready to go. Um, and so what we're gonna do here is we're just reducing this cream down with the brandy. We sauteed the mushrooms. Uh, we're reducing the cream down to double cream. Okay. That's when it's reduced down by half and then we'll mount some butter in there and swirl it in and it'll be ready to go. Wow, that's easy for somebody like me who's out there don't know how to really cook that well. Yeah, this is this is a dish that you know you can impress a lot of people with 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 very little effort. So. Okay, and and the for the tomato, about how long should that be on? Like I said, it's it. I mean, the the stuffing of it is just breadcrumbs, um, goat cheese, herbs, garlic, and shallots. And uh, you want to just core out your tomato. You know, clean out all the the meat of the tomato to make that cavity. Uh, stuff that in. You, I, I like to pack it a little over the top of the tomato, mm -hmm. you know, just because it looks, it appears nicer and uh, just long enough to get that nice color on your cheese. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and, and crisp and up the And you know, I'm pounds. not a cheese lover, so would you say there are any substitutes? No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. You could, you could, you can stuff it with, you know, peas and corn if you want to. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, I, you can do this with all all sorts of things. Uh, you just want something in there to bind it together, and you can do that 
with just the the breadcrumbs alone would do yeah, that. Yeah, you know? the breadcrumbs. Yeah. You could add a out. you could add an egg to it and and something that'll hold up all of that stuff together. Maybe an egg white. You don't want the yolk yeah. color in there. Yum yum. We are ready to try this. Of course, we'll be back in just a moment. We're gonna get this plated and taste.